As Max just alluded to, as Winkle drives one in the air deep right, this is trouble. This will leave the yard, and Cedar Rapids takes the first lead of this series. It's a solo home run. Pat Winkle, as mentioned, he only hit 250 in the regular season. Over his last five games, though, he has been wicked with a 429 batting average. Is ready. A dribbler over the mound, up the middle, Pertuz to second to one. Mane first, double play. 4 6 3. Inning ending, twin killing. Pablo Aliendo, corner infielders in. Aliendo bunts, third base side, it's a great one. Picked up by Malaki. Throw to first, gets away. Cubs work it, will score. Here comes Pinando in. The ball is at the sidewall, first base side. Aliendo to second. Tie game 1 1. There you go, that's all you need right there. Force the defense to make a play. This is a textbook bunt up the third baseline for Aliendo. You put pressure on a guy who is just freshly inserted into the game. 2 1. Base hit center field. Aliendo scores. Cubs lead. Comeback achieved. 2 1. Eighth inning. The one two. Called strike three. Jake Rindle strikes out the side in the ninth inning. And the Cubs take a one nothing series lead over Cedar Rapids. Cubs two. Colonels one. That's a final. South Bend has the most home wins in the Midwest League. And they win another at Four Winds Field. Jake Rindle. Strikeout, strikeout, strikeout in the top of the ninth. South Bend's comeback elevated in the eighth. Johendrick Pinango doubled. Pablo Aliendo laid down a bunt. It was thrown away by the pitcher, Bobby Malaki. A run scored. Then a sack bunt by Kevin Mate and a single by Fabian Pertuz. That was the game-winning hit.